Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and today I'm going to be uploading a video that you've all been waiting for, if you've subscribed to me of course. So this is from my contest video, I uploaded when I got 15,000 subscribers. Sorry it's taken so long, but um, I've been very busy as I said. So this is the video on how to make the suggested invention from first prize winner mutant broccoli and his idea was to make a taser glove so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to make your very own taser glove from pretty easy parts so to make your taser glove you're going to need a few parts this is for your most basic design but if you want to make it look fancier you can always add stuff but the minimal components you will need is a camera, a disposable single use camera, must be this type with a flash, as you can see there's a flash button, that is very important, can't be automatic flash, um, used is totally fine as long as there's battery power and like I said a flash. You may need some extra wires depending on your design, so I have a broken USB cable, electrical tape or whatever tape you like. A glove. I have a right-handed glove because I'm right-handed and the majority of people are. Um, a multi-tool, which also has tools like this screwdriver, which is basically going to be used to take apart your camera. And some scissors, again, just in case you need them to strip wires or whatever. You may need some other tools depending on your camera's model. So that is all you need for the basic uh, model that I'll be making today, so let's get started. So the first step is to take apart your disposable single-use camera. And so the very, very first step before you do anything else is you're going to want to take out the battery and then um, take a photo with the flash on. And this will discharge all the electricity inside of the camera so you don't shock yourself. If you do, you won't die, but it'll hurt, so don't do it. And then, using a sharp thing like a screwdriver or scissors, cut along the paper like that where the groove is and pry it open using this and I'll show you what it looks like inside. So when you take apart your camera, um, as you can see I've got the shell here, um, the film, your battery, which in this case is a double A which I took out, a few extra parts, and the thing we care about is this here. So before touching anything, Make sure you touch something metal to these prongs, which will take all the electricity out of your camera so you can touch it wherever you want, you won't get shocked. And I unscrewed a few screws here so I can simply take the little lens off. You can keep any of these parts if you want, of course. And all we care about is this little uh, circuit board here, which is connected to the flash, which is pretty much all the electrical components in this. So I'm going to work on getting that out and show you how to modify it for your taser glove. So here I have extracted the little circuit board. And so this is all you need really. And as you can see the battery just goes into this part here. I won't put it in because then it will be live and potentially dangerous. And the charging button is this thing right here. Uh, my other model I used before, you pushed it once and it charged itself. But this one looks like you have to hold it down. Um, I'll do that at the very end. So now we're going to work on getting some wires from the USB cable and modifying it. So instead of flashing, it becomes a taser. So I stripped some of the USB cable just to have two wires and left a lot of room there. Didn't cut the other end because I still want to measure. But next on our circuit board here, um, might be kind of hard to show you. But as you can see, there's three wires. And the ones going on each end are the main power supplies, I believe. So this one, the, if you can see the colors, you got orange and red. So we're going to want to take those off of the flash. And you can solder them if you want. I don't have soldering or equipment with me now. It's not necessary. But I'm going to strip a bit more of the uh, insulation off of the orange and red wires. And then simply connect them to these wires, which will give us more distance to put onto our glove. Um, I'll just do that off camera because it's pretty simple. So what I've done here, I've also added an elastic which holds the battery in nicely. And as you can see, um, just simply taking off the thing, 
the flash story and connected my longer wires from my USB cable to the orange and red ones and the white one I simply tied up here it's a grounding wire doesn't really matter what you do with it it's not needed and these things I'm not sure what they are either but again not necessary for our project so now the next step um, depends on your exact design but mine you're going to want to measure uh, so first decide where you want you can't really see everything but you get the idea first decide where you want your um the the little, little board and so I'm going to say right around the middle on the top and then decide what two fingers you want to sock so I'm going to do these two fingers because it kind of makes sense you know so then measure where you want the wire so mine's going to probably end up right around there so I'm going to cut mine right about there for the red wire and then for the black wire going on the middle finger I'm going to measure it it's going to start there go all the way up might loop it around the finger and ends around there so once you cut your wires the next step you're going to want to strip these ends so there's lots of metal exposed probably wrap them into a coil um, if you have tin foil, maybe put some of that on so there's lots of metal contact. And then, it was basically just a matter of putting it all together, so I'll do those steps and show you what that looks like. So there essentially is your finalized project. What I've done is taped the board on the back. you got to make sure you expose the button to the top. I elastic band the battery in place. you got to make sure it's the right orientation too, obviously. Just play around with that. And... I'm sorry it's a little crude, all I used was um, electrical tape, but if you had more time on your hands and whatnot, you could probably put this in a nice box, um, sew it on, or glue it on, or whatever. And then I have my two wires running up the fingers, and as you can see I've made little circle coils. Um, alternatively, you could get maybe either coins, uh, don't know if that would work, but I know like aluminum foil or tin foil should work. Um, or like any little metal plates if you had such a thing to expand the surface area and likelihood of you um, touching whatever you're trying to tase so I will try this on right now and show you guys how it works so there is the final product your taser glove not the worst thing in the world um, fits my hand quite nicely and it's quite comfortable so yeah there you have it and so now to do the testing, all you do, and listen carefully, this part's a little important. So when you charge it, you're going to want to push down this button. You'll hear a high-pitched noise, and the light, the red light will light up. But make sure you don't touch any of these solder points. You could cover them up with tape if you want. But if you do, you will shock yourself. So wait for it to light up. There it is. Let go. And then... All you do is you just touch it to anything organic or metal, but since I'm not retarded, I'm not going to touch myself. So, we got a nice little ham over here to do some testing on. So, I'm just going to, it's all charged up. The light went off on this version, but sometimes they stay on. So, just touch your ham. And that didn't make that much of a crack. So I'm sure if that ham had feeling in it, it would feel a shock. But since you guys couldn't really tell tell what was going on, I'm going to recharge up my taser glove right now. There you go. And show you on something a bit more responsive, like this metal pair of scissors. There you go. Even left a welt in my scissors. You can see I've tested it a few times. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed my video um, and testing on my ham, I guess. It was kind of funny. So, thanks for watching. Um, again, thank you very much, Mutant Broccoli, for this wonderful idea. I had lots of fun making this video. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, make my comments, and stick around for more awesome videos. Thanks for watching.